The flood of 2008 is still chewing away at parts of Clay County, Indiana. Land is eroding at an alarming rate and getting dangerously close to roads. News 10's Jane Santucci explains how the county commissioners are trying to help. By any means, this log pile doesn't look like much, but it sure is making a difference to the shape of the Eel River in Clay County, Indiana. Commissioner Charlie Brown said it is rerouting the flow of water, causing erosion to the bank. It's not a life and death thing, and I agree with you, but it's just one of the many problems that we're having here with the weather we're having here lately. The cost to remove it? About $75,000. And it's just not here. Four, five, six... Seven, eight. Check out this curve, just steps away from the county's right-of-way on River Road. Well, this green green cabin here that the people live in, there was probably about 75 feet of backyard. There were swing sets out there, and, and I've gone by here and seen people you know, cooking out back there. Right now, you can see it's supported there with concrete bricks in the back. You can step right off the back porch into the river. A temporary fix would be to fill in the hole with white rock. The cost? about forty thousand dollars next stop a bridge with a weakened foundation going over an eel river tributary you know it's a little little part of clay county but it's very important to, to the agriculture in this area the cost to replace it a hundred and twenty thousand dollars we are obligated to help these people uh, and uh, what will we do without the farmers yeah. i mean they feed us Commissioner Brown hopes to fix these problems by applying for grants, but will face stiff competition from surrounding counties. In Clay County with photojournalist Tony Casasilla, Jane Santucci, News 10. The deadline for the grants to be submitted to the state is just a few months away in May 2010.